Hi, I'm Aaron Repke, Director of Product Marketing for Electric Actuation at Emerson. Today we're talking about the Bettis RTS Failsafe Quarter Turn Electric Actuator. We've got it mounted here on a Fisher V-Ball valve, and we're going to talk about some basic setup and configuration of this actuator. You'll want to refer to your user manual and be careful to note all instructions and safety recommendations. I'll be demonstrating here how you can change the speed of the Bettis RTS actuator. This actuator has a brushless DC motor in it with variable frequency drive technology. So it allows you to make modifications to the speed of the actuator without changing the motor or any of the gearing. It's uh, newer technology in the world of actuation and a very exciting feature of this product. So in order to make a modification to the speed of this actuator, first we're going to need the switch in the off position, and then we're going to navigate down to section four is speed. And you can reference section 8.3 in the user manual for this operation. So here we have uh, local open, 4.1 is local open. Uh, if we go down a notch, uh, 4.2 is local closed. We can keep navigating remote open, remote closed, emergency open, emergency closed. For this exercise, we're just going to change the local speed. And let's say we want the uh, closing speed to be slower. Maybe we're worried about water hammer. So local close, right now it's set at 72.2 RPM. That's the maximum speed. It's asking me, do I want to edit this value? You have check mark yes, X, no. So yes, I want to edit the value. Just a quick um, move up on the switch. And you can see now it's switched over to save. So it's asking me, do I want to save this value? Um, no, we want to modify this value. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to modify the value. And again, that switch, depending on if you fully latch it, it's going to move down quickly. And you can kind of uh, tweak it up or down, depending on what you need. You want to go quickly up, just latch it up. So let's say we want to go down to 30 RPMs. We want to cut it about in half. So I'm going to go down. Let's see. OK. There we have it at 30. Now again, asking me if I want to save. Yes, I want to save, so up. And it took the save because now it's switched to edit. No, I don't want to edit. I'm, I'm satisfied with the 30. And let's assume that if we go up a notch, local open, we want to keep that where it is at the maximum speed. So we've got maximum speed on open. We've got about half of that for the close and we're satisfied with this configuration. So now I want to test it. I'll switch it into local mode. And we're at fully open, so I'm going to close the valve. So you can see the speed here. This is about half of the maximum speed. We'll run it down a little ways. Good enough. All right, and then you'll see on the way up, that's at maximum speed going open. So much faster operation going up is the way we had to have it set up right now. And that's how you adjust the speeds on the Bettis RTS actuator.